Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got a little dramatic entrance animation for you today. If I just refresh the page. There we go, we've got quite a lot going on there. And that's certainly going to get people's attention if you apply that to something. Really easy to do. We've got to use a bit of code to do this today, which we're going to use from Animista. And I'll put this link below the video. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new page. And I'm going to rotate. Obviously use the Divi Builder. And I want to build from scratch. I'm going to put a simple row in with three columns. And in that first column, I'm going to put a simple call to action module. And I'm going to leave it just like that. OK, to make this work today, we've got to add some code to our theme customizer. To get your theme customizer, go to your dashboard, down to Appearance and Customize. That will bring you to this page right here. Right at the bottom, you'll find Additional CSS. Just click on there. And when you're writing CSS, it's a good idea to give it a title. To do that, we'll say forward slash star star forward slash. Anything you write in between the two stars there will not be read as code. Like I say, if you're writing a lot of CSS, it's great to put titles in. And it's also a courtesy if anybody works on the site behind you, then they can find things a lot easier. Great. Now we've done that, let's go to our Animista page. I'm using Rotate In here to get your code. Just simply go over to the little code icon over here next to the heart icon. Click on it and it gives us the code right here. First thing, we've got the class name, so we need to copy that copy the class and it's a class name of rotate in diagonally to so let's copy that go to our customizer and we'll paste that in our customizer right there now I'm going to drop down just a little bit and we'll get the keyframes the keyframes are the things that actually create the animation itself down below simply copy the keyframes we've done this before where we've manually written the keyframes and this is a great little time saver having it all written out for us so I've copied the keyframes I'm going to go back and paste those underneath right there okay that's pretty much it we're pretty much done we need to publish this and take the class name itself don't get the dot just the R to the end of the two right there you don't need the dot for what we're going to do next so I'm going to copy that class name I'm going to publish this to make sure it, it applies. And we'll go over to our new page, go into this module, and we'll give it that class name. Simply click in there, go to the Advanced tab, CSS ID and Classes, hit the little drop down right there, and we can enter the CSS class name under CSS class right here. And as you can see, it's already applied that effect for us. Now you can create anything you want. We can add a new module. Let's just add an image or something like this. Now if we apply the same class to that image, it will have the same effect and you can add this to anything that you want. You can add it to sections, rows, modules. So let's just add it to this little image right here just to demonstrate advanced CSS ID in classes class paste that one in there and it's affected that one also and you can go on like I say you can continue and do it anything you like with that let's just add a new row and I'll show you how you can add it to a row also I'll just use a simple row choose a, another call to action module in there now if I actually apply it to this module here it's going to spin like these other but if you don't want it to spill out of the row so it sort of contains it in there we can apply the class to the module exactly the way we've done before but instead of having it go over the top of those other modules let's go into our row the green tab and we'll go to advanced visibility and hide the horizontal and vertical overflow set those to hidden then when we do it 
I just save this and refresh the page, you'll see that rotate within the actual column itself and not spill out. So let's just refresh. There we go. If I refresh one more time, you can see that's keeping within our little module there. Okay. Well, that was really easy to do. It's kind of dramatic. It's a little bit quick for me. It's happening too quick. I want to slow it down for a bit of drama. Let's just save our changes and exit the Visual Builder here. And if we just refresh there, like I say, that's happening rather quickly. I like to slow it down for a bit of drama. And to do that, you want to go back into your code. If we look right at the top here. We've got WebKit animation, which makes it compatible with more browsers, namely Chrome for that one, I believe. And we've got 0 0.5 seconds here. And we've got a similar line, which is for all the other browsers, animation rotate, and we've got 0 0.5 seconds there. I'm going to slow mine down dramatically. Let's say 2.5, and you can put in whatever you want. Obviously, if you want to make it faster, put a lower second value in. But I'm going to take mine up to about 2.5. We should slow it down let you see the effect a bit better and it should be a little more graceful so now we've done that let's go back to our, our page and refresh and as you can see that's done it a lot more gracefully over a longer period of time and it's just some options to get different effects there so there you go guys that's how to add a flip in or rotate in effect to your Divi website using a bit of custom CSS really easy to do and like I say if you apply that to a particular module it's going to get people's attention pretty quickly if that spins in on the page like that and we've got the code from here today Anamista lovely site I'll put that link below so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.